So now that we have our basic um, images out of Rhino as well as our Make 2D drawings, we can open a new Illustrator file. Um, and what we're going to do is go to File Open and we will go to our media test one which is our DWG format um, and this dialog box is going to pop up so what I like to do here um, original size um, may or may not work I usually don't like to use that one scale to fit art, artboard will get rid of all of your scaling information within your file um, and what I like to do here so is scale by um, and then you're going to enter information into here so what this is asking is how many units within your Rhino file equal one inch within your um, Illustrator environment. So if we go back to our Rhino file, um, we can see that we're already in inches. So what this means is that if we import one unit, so one inch is going to equal one inch. So let's click OK. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at this guy. Um, so what we've done is we've imported this and I just highlighted this one line and you can see our width is zero and our height is one. So that looks to have imported at the right scale. So the important thing to remember here is that if we go to file open um, and we go to media test one, uh, yeah, let's create a new uh, doesn't look like we can create a new window. So let's go to file open, media test one. The important thing to remember here um, is that if this file is in feet, you're going to have to type a different thing into here. So one unit, so one foot in your Rhino file is going to be equal to actually 12 inches um, in your actual file. Um, I'm not gonna do that because we're obviously not at that scale. Um, but here we can take a look at um, when we import one to one. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. Um, we can change the stroke on these. Um, we can also go ahead and change the color of the stroke. So let's just change those to black. Let's make these internal guys a little bit less. Um, so that drawing is actually at one to one. So it actually looks like it doesn't fit on an eight and a half by 11, which is okay. So we can click our little artboard button down here and let's just go ahead and put this on an 11 by 17. Um, there's a couple of different ways to adjust artboards. One is that you click down here and do artboard tool. Um, window artboards is going to be another. Um, so we can actually do a new artboard um, and you can do it like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy. Um, so now we're ready to actually import our images. So if we go into our layers, we're just going to lock both of those and import this image onto a new layer. So if we go to file place, um, we're going to go ahead and find media test one. We'll place that into the file. Now odds are um, that this is not going to perfectly, yeah, so the scale of this is not going to perfectly align. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways to align this. One would obviously be to just sort of go through and start trying to tweak this to be the right size. I don't really like that option because I think that it, it leaves a lot of room for error. So what I like to do is draw a rectangle here. So just any old rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it to this edge of my drawing and I'm gonna go ahead and align it to this side of my drawing and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make something called a clipping mask so we're going to use this um, rectangle and we're gonna then hold shift and also click this guy and we're going to object clipping mask and make. So what that's going to do is that's going to actually clip our drawing so that it's only this big. What that now allows us to do is we can actually just drag that over to here and then we can resize it this way. We can move that up to where it's actually supposed to be. Um, and then once that's actually aligned, what we can do is we can do to go to object, clipping mask, and we can release that. 
and that will bring back our our full image. So then, if you obviously want to clip it to the um, same size as your sheet, um, the shortcut for that is actually going to be Control Seven. So this would be what our final image looked like. Now I don't like how sort of punchy this is. So if this were me, I would take it and turn the turn the um, the tones down a little bit. So just take this and turn the opacity down. Um, so now what we want to do is just verify that we're all good on scale. Um, so what we can do is we can take our window and we're going to look at document info. So let's click on that line and we're going to go to objects. Um, and if we look at our document info, our objects, we look at paths, we've selected one path, one open, it has two points and the length is equal to one inch. So if we go ahead and click on all the lines within this object, they all are going to equal one inch. Um, and this is why we made this one inch by one inch by one inch when we did our original, our original scheme. Now, if you don't need things to be at an exact scale or if you're looking at a perspective or something like that, um, obviously when you, uh, if we close out of this, when you go to your um, sorry, if you go to open and then we go ahead and open this guy, um, obviously if you don't care about the scale, I would just go to scale to fit artboard. Um, and what that'll do is it'll just scale it properly, um, to, to fit on the sheet size that you have. So if you don't care, if you're working on a rendering or something like that, you don't necessarily need to do the scale, but the scaling option is there within Illustrator.